I'm Rebecca from Rebecca Stitches, welcome back. Today I've got a fabric haul video and some patterns as well that I've bought um, with a few plans that hopefully I'll get done um, in June and July. So I have got quite a few but like I say they're from May and June and I've bought them for specific um, plans mainly that I've got. So the first two fabrics I've got are from Sew Me Sunshine um and the first one is a jet black 10 ounce denim and it's a stretch denim so it's 54 percent cotton 40 percent tensile and one percent spandex and this is it Oops. just a jet black um jean and I've, the reason i've got this now is because i'd wanted some in autumn winter last year this is the, a little bit of stretch that way um yeah so i'd wanted some black denim last year and then when i came to like last winter or to when i came to buy it it had all sold out everywhere so even though i'm not going to be probably making those jeans until like september october i got it now just while they had it in ready to go whenever I fancy it and I'm probably going to make either the ash jeans which I've made before or I might use it to make another dark pair of dawn jeans because my favourite pair of dawn jeans have got a little bit of stretch in it as well it just makes them more, com more comfortable to wear because my dawn jeans that I've got out of rigid jean fabric which they're supposed to be made from I can't sit down I can't tie my shoelace <laughs> so I don't I don't wear them which is a shame because it's really nice denim so yeah, so either dawn jeans or ash jeans, but that's like come autumn. And then the other material fabric that I got from Sew Me Sunshine was this double gauze, checked double gauze. And I've been look I've been looking at this for ages on their website, and it was I think it was nine pounds a meter. And I was like, oh, should I get it? Shouldn't I get it? So I decided to get it before it was all sold out. And so it's just a double gauze uh, X designer. I've got three meters and I'm going to use it to make the Agnes PJ set, which I think I talked about in my previous vlog from Paper Theory. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting those done. I've got another fabric in here as well that I'm going to make some more summer PJs in. So I'm going to make the shorts, um, the short version for summer. And um, I've got some more fabric that I'll show you later that I'm making a different PJ set with. But again, shorts one is ready for the summer. And it'd be nice to like, compare the two patterns, I think. So yeah, the next fabric I got was from... I don't know if it's the most recent or the one before. Um, Rainbow Fabrics drop that they had. Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn. Um, I'm sure if you... Uh, on Instagram in the sewing community then you know a lot about or you've seen rainbow fabrics they do like x designer quite reasonably priced generally fabrics and then sometimes they do discounts on them as well and it's actually when they have a drop because i have bought fabric before in their drops and then found out um like their sewing influencers like i don't know Purple Sewing Cloud, she's one of them and some others, then get a code for you to have a discount, which is like 25% off or something. And I bought, I bought it with, well, I wanted to buy it anyway, so that's fine. But if they're having a drop, it's always better to have a look on Instagram and see if anyone's doing extra codes that you can get with a little bit of extra money off. So the first thing I got is this cotton linen blend, just like a creamy ivory colour and I got two meters of this I think yeah one two um I'm gonna make a, a summer shirt to wear out of it I'm not sure which which one yet um oh maybe um which I haven't talked about what I'm wearing is um newly made fresh off the sewing machine yesterday it is a Florence top from Merchant and Mills I'll just show you the back I'll put some footage of me in like wearing it and I'm wearing it with my um, 
berry pants today from Skylark. So this is a old Lady McElroy viscose fabric that I've had in my stash for absolutely ages and I really wanted to, to use it. And I really love this. I've had some compliments on the school run this morning wearing this. Um, it's so nice. I have, I'll talk about it in my makes video for June, but I'll just quickly say I made quite a few adjustments to it before I even made it. So this is my first one, but I have made style art um, merchant and mill patterns before, and I do find that they're quite tight across the back. So I've done a broad back adjustment, done a full bicep adjustment on the sleeve because I also find their sleeves are quite tight as well. And I lengthened the bodice by an inch because um, I've seen it on Instagram and I've heard people talk that they think it's quite short. And I don't have a particularly long bodice, but I just wanted to make sure that I'd feel comfortable wearing it and it had come like past my waist so yeah I lengthened the bodice by an inch and then I did my usual high round back adjustment and forward shoulder adjustment but yeah I'll talk more detail about that in one of my up and coming makes vlogs the June one because I made this in June but yeah I absolutely love it so I think that I might make another one in this linen cotton blend um, I think that'd be really nice for summer and this is quite um obviously it's really it's a really th thin viscose chalice um the wind picks it up blows it up and i think something a little bit heavier would just help with that so yeah it is creased because it has just been washed so yeah i really like this um and then the other thing i got from rainbow fabrics is this cotton foil that they had um, and I got, yeah, three metres of this. Okay. It's got like a, like a flower design on it. And it is quite, it's a little bit like, um, like a burnout fabric a little bit, if you see. So it is quite sheer, but that is okay, because what I am planning... And I'm really happy with this actually. When I saw it on the website, it's hard to tell. But what I want it for is a dressing gown. So for myself for the summer. Um, to replace one I've had for like nine years that I wore when I was pregnant with my first girl. So it's definitely needs replacing. I think this is just going to be really nice for summer and light. So yeah, I've got three metres of that. And I am planning on making... The named pattern, I'm probably going to say this wrong, larger, larger, I'll put a picture up here, um, dressing gown pattern. So it's a unisex pattern for men and women. It's sort of a straight cut, straight down dressing gown. And it comes with either short sleeves or long sleeves, knee length, mid calf length, um, and with a belt to tie it up. So I'm probably going to make the longer length, I think. Um, with the long sleeves and the bell and it's got big patch pockets and I got that from Fabric Godmother this month as well when I saw this fabric I was like that's it I want to make myself a dressing gown I'm going to get the pattern and get that sewn up hopefully before August so the larger comes in sizes extra small to extra extra large and bearing in mind it's a unisex pattern yes it's reasonable. The finished measurements for the bust are 156 centimetres, the waist is 156.5 centimetres and the hips are 158. So it is pretty much straight down. So yeah, I'm looking forward to having that to go with my two new pairs of pyjamas that I'll be making. And then I also got sent um, a little bag of buttons in my order. I didn't order them, they just sent them me, Rainbow Fabrics. There's a couple of different kinds. Let's just get them out. Which I thought was really nice of them, adding those in. Um, and I'll either use them, probably use them for something for the girls, I think. So we've got two little 
striped buttons, a pink one and a yellow one. And then also um, the bigger size, like the matching bigger size. So I've got quite a few of those each. And then I've got some of these ones, which are like yellow and sparkly. They're quite cute as well. Yeah, I don't really sew a lot of yellow for myself, but for the girls, I think they'll come in handy. And they're really sweet. So yeah, I was pleased with those. And then we have more. Um, so from Fabric Godmother, I got the larger um, dressing gown on PDF. And I did actually get them to print that out for me while they were at it. Because it was quite a lot of pattern pages and I... I didn't want to stick that PDF together. Um, I got this cotton shirt in. So I don't know if you can see. It's white with like a fine black stripe on it. So yeah, I got two meters of this. Um, because I'd seen someone wearing like a shirt made out of like a shirt in. Um, and it it was ready to wear. And it had like really fine stripes on it and I just liked how it looked like from afar like you couldn't really tell the colour or the stripes and I haven't I have got a few shirt patterns but the one I think I want which I don't have to make this is um, the I Am Sunshine Irma shirt so yeah if anyone's made that I'd be interested to what you what you think about it because when you look on Instagram at the um, photos of the pattern that they've made up and on some other people's patterns that they when they've made the pattern up it's like a funny like pull like just here on the shirt and I don't know if it's just maybe it needs some fit adjustments on the models or there's something in the pattern that doesn't quite sit right like just here it just like pulls a little bit on the shirt but yeah so I'm really pleased with that it's just like a hundred percent cotton shirt in from fabric godmother that I bought because I've had this blouse in mind and then when I saw this fabric I was like oh can't pass that up so yeah that'll be going in the stash probably for like September time-ish um, when I bought the pattern and then the other thing I got from Fabric Godmother was the Megan Nielsen Cottesloe swimsuit pattern because I'm going on holiday um, we go every year with my sister and her children, we go camping and I want to make myself a swimming costume slash two-piece, I think I made the two-piece, um, to go in the sea with the kids because they have so much fun in there. I don't want to be sat on the sidelines anymore. So I think I'm going to make this few, I think. So the one with the deeper band across it compared to this one and then the fuller briefs just to keep my mom tum in check so yeah um, the fabric that I bought um, was from Hey So Sister to make this in which I'm excited about so this is the fabric so I got it from Hey So Sister Georgie there so yeah this is it just a zigzag pinks and greens and the orange in it and I really liked it I think that goes quite well like colour wise for me so yeah I shall be doing some swimsuit sewing I'm not sure how brave I'll be about putting pictures of me on it's well not Instagram I don't think but maybe I'll put some pictures of me in it when I go on holiday so yeah I'm looking forward to wearing this and it's got lots of stretch and it doesn't go white or anything when you stretch it Staticky as well at the minute. That's what I call a static. Yeah, I just see if I've written anything about this down. So yeah, just zigzag swim active wear, 82% polyamide and 18% elastane. So yeah, when I've made that, um, I have got some other like lycra. Um, which I might make a twirl first of before I use this as my my main fabric so yeah I'll um, document my swimsuit sewing adventures and then yeah 
I'm really looking forward to getting in the sea this year with the kids, bodyboarding and things. It is about time to stop worrying what I look like in a bikini at the beach. I have a body, we're going to the beach, so I need to be getting that body in the sea and playing with the kids. I'm not missing out on all the fun. So yeah, looking forward to that. And um, the Cottesler just come in her extended size range. I got the 0 to 20 sizes, but I know she just she has got it in her extended size range as well. So that's that. And then the last, oh, also from Hey So Sister. These are quite cute that she, she sent two little like, purse cards. That's, that one says, thanks, I made it. And this has got project and pattern notes. I always think they're really cute to write on your pattern and your notes as you're going along. So I'll definitely use that. And then she sent another one that says, thanks, I made it. And this one is like a little to-do list. So you could break down what you've got to do in the pattern and get that done, which I think would be quite good, especially like for the cotter's low, like all the different swim elastics and things that you need for that. So yeah, they're really cute. I really like those. And then she always sends you like a little thank you note which is really lovely. So the last fabric I got where is, is it's a yarn dyed cotton jersey called Grid Space and it's 95% cotton, 5% elastane. Yeah. This is a really wide um, fabric, I think it's 175 centimetres wide and I got it in like their dark grey colourway. Really nice. It's only got a metre because it is like, it's quite stretchy that way, it is um, so wide so I'll definitely be able to get, a, I'm just going to make a t-shirt out of it, I'm not sure which one yet, like a boxy tee or maybe a quite, the Union Street tee by Hey Jean Handmade is like my favourite t-shirt. Um, I might make that out of it or a boxy tee. I've got like the Tilly and the Buttons Nora. So yeah, that's really nice fabric as well from Hey So Sister. And the other pattern that I bought, oh, two more, two more patterns that I bought. I got the Tidal Top and Dress from um, Love Notions and I don't know if you watch um, Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery. I I love her vlogs. Um, she so Love Notions always do like a deal on a Friday where their patterns are five dollars. They pick a pattern and that Friday it'll be five dollars. And they also have um, like Whitney did it. I don't know if she did the tidal one. She they have like um, tester versions and they'll put up online like videos and stuff of how to make it and um, people wearing it and how it looks and she had on um, she did the tidal dress with the sleeves here and I just really liked it and I've wanted a jersey so it's for jersey I've wanted a like a summery jersey dress pattern and this has got um seam down the back and which so it's cut, cut into on the back the seam down the back and then it comes round to the front so these are the back pieces that come round just got a lot of scope for fitting um so yeah so i'm going to make that this summer but i think i'll make a like the maxi version with the sleeves and i could also try the t-shirt as well maybe with my fabric so i was thinking of the hey so sisters have quite a few jerseys that i like but um i might um, get one of their other colours and maybe do it in this or well, they had some like striped fabric that I quite liked as well so yeah that is a definite plan for June, July, August get a maxi t-shirt dress version and her sizes are oh and the other thing so it was five dollars and then I used um, Whitney's code as well, which she has. So if you watch any of Whitney's videos, especially on, say, a Friday when Love Notions are doing the offer, 
the five dollar off for Friday. Um, she tells you her code that you can use to get an extra ten percent off. So it cost me less. I think it cost like it was less than four pounds. The pattern cost me, which I think is pretty good, really. Um, for like all the options that you get and what you get in it, you can't get a pattern for less than four pounds for that, can you? Um, so her sizes are extra small to 5X. So the finished garment measurements are 144cm for the bust, 135cm for the waist and 165cm for the hip. I guess it's not the biggest set of um, sizes, but I do know the notions are, uh, we're going through and adding more sizes to the range whether this one is one that she's already done or not i'm not sure because this is the first pattern that i bought from them so yeah so i'm looking forward to making that and then the last pattern that i bought um is from the new craft house so when they brought out all their patterns i really liked the look of the waistcoat so that is what i bought the waistcoat I just think it was like really cute and I like the fact that you could do um, quilting on it maybe as well. So yeah, I've had, I've got numerous ideas of what I want to, how I want to make this um, waistcoat. Six, size 6 to 34 with a finished measurement of a waist of 131 and a chest of 149 centimetres. So the largest sizes. But the finished measurement, so 106 20 centimetre. Uh, 100, I'll start again because I said that wrong. So it goes up to a, um, a 34, which is 131 centimetres for the bust and 149 centimetres for the chest. But the actual finished garment measurement, so 167.5 centimetres for the waist for the largest size and 166 centimetre for the chest. I don't know why they've gotten the wrong way around in the. Um, Instead of having the waist first, they've got the chest measurement first, which is a bit confusing. So yeah, so it's I think it'd be really cute like over tops so like puffy sleeves and dresses with puffy sleeves. And I do, I've, I've bought, it's not here yet, it's coming today but later, some of the Merchant and Mills quilt of fabric because I've had that idea in my mind since I saw this waistcoat. That I wanted to make it up in that because I'd seen some like um, the quilted jackets made up in that fabric. The Merchant and Mills, I'll put a picture of it here. I've got the like dark petrol colour, um, like double gauze that looks kind of quilted fabric. And then I bought a linen to line it with. Um, I'm going to buy a spine bin. So yeah, I'm looking forward to making that. And then, so it's suitable for mid-weight fabric with no stretch, so linen, cotton, double gauze, and patchwork, like quilting. And it says to use batten, um, a wadding of sandwich, like batten in between. So natural cotton or bamboo wadding for this. I've got loads of like leftover um, batting from like quilting and things, so I'll be doing that. Um, but I do have this fabric from like deep in my stash um, and it's a Ruby Star Society cotton. It's like a, a panel, that's one, well the top of it and it comes down to, to this and I haven't, I have printed the PDF but I haven't put it together yet so I don't know if I'll be able to get um, it off this but I was thinking in, if I could, like ideal, in an ideal world, I don't know if I would be able to for my size, um, get in, having the front of the waist, the two front parts of the waistcoat, these sides, in this, I think that looked quite cute, like along the bottom of the waistcoat at the front, and then doing the back in this. I just think that would look really cool. Maybe doing a bit of quilting, see how I feel. But like I said, because this is what it is folded in half, I'm probably not going to have enough, I don't think. So 
my size but we shall see we shall see might be able to buy another um another panel maybe or i could make my daughter one in the smallest size i think that would look really cool so yeah so i've got plenty to be getting on with um, and I'm also doing a, I've just signed up to do a test, pattern test, which is another pair of pyjamas, which are like either short or long pyjamas and then like a top blouse type pyjama, a bit like the Agnes really. So I'll be making those up as well. So yeah, let me know what you think, um, if you've made any of those patterns before, especially like the Irma, the Sew Me Sunshine Irma, Sew Me Sunshine. I am patterns Irma. I was thinking of the I am patterns sunshine jeans then, which I'm quite interested in, but I don't know. Jeans are a lot of work, and I've already got like the dawn jeans made up, so I'm not going to buy any more jean patterns at the minute. But yeah, thanks for stopping by and watching. Um, leave a comment and a like, and subscribe if you'd like to see what all these fabrics get turned into. And I'll see you again. Thanks. Bye.